Hey everyone, it's Ryan. So one of the things I've uh, been thinking about during this time of, um, you know, new routines and, and uh, new scheduling and, you know, with this, uh, you know, this uh, virus throwing a monkey wrench into all of our lives and upending lives and, you know, what we deal with on a, on a daily basis, like, like what I deal with on a daily basis, nothing compared to people that are actually suffering from this virus and, and families who have loved ones suffering from this virus. And it's just, uh, you know, we, we do, we continue to pray, uh, for those who are uh, dealing with this, uh, directly. Um, one of the things, uh, I have been challenging myself with is, um, especially with this new routine that we've had, that we've been kind of forced into this new way of life is what new routines am I implementing now that I will carry over when everything goes back to normal, whatever that looks like. Um, one of the bad habits I got into was when I'd get up in the mornings when everything was, you know, before all this hit, uh, get breakfast with the boys, make sure they have all their stuff for school, make sure they uh, get on get get on the bus on time and all that kind of stuff. But one of the things I would do is I would sit there and just stare at my iPad, scroll on Facebook, Twitter, everything like that. It was just a bad habit. And I would tell myself, I don't need to do that, but I would still continue to do that. And it was just not good. And so I start, I kept doing it even in the first couple of weeks of this uh, kind of lockdown and everything else. And I would just stare and, you know, pretty soon, like hour, hour and a half go by and I've done really nothing. And... Then I would be frustrated because I wouldn't have time to pray or what, you know, I couldn't focus on praying and things like that. I'd be praying throughout the day. I mean, I'd still pray, but I'd pray throughout the what, day sporadically. And I just, it just didn't feel, I just felt off. And so one of the things I told myself the other day is like, I need to not eat breakfast until I sit. We have these benches in our kitchen and they're just for storage, but they're also looks, looks and pe places for people to sit. So I said, I'm going to sit on those benches when the boys have, you know, their breakfast and they're watching TV because TV is usually not a morning thing for them. But now with this, it is. Um, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to pray. I'm not going to eat breakfast. I'll get some water. But I'm not going to eat breakfast until I am done praying, at least for those kind of things, you know, at least for my morning routine. And so I started doing that a few days ago. And I tell you what, it has made my days much better. I have, you know, it seems like I got a little bit more energy. I got a better attitude, got a better perspective. And so my challenge and my question to you is what new routines that have, have you been forced into, or maybe you started based on this, you know, upending of life, what routines are you going to take, carry over when things go back to normal, whatever that looks like. And so, um, Leave me comments. Let me know what those are. Maybe I'll steal some. <laughs> but uh, um, that's something to really think about. And uh, it's a good way, especially when it comes to spiritual disciplines and spiritual routines. Um, what spiritual routines are you going to implement? What spiritual routines are you doing now that maybe you didn't do before and you're going to continue to do so? So leave me some comments. Let me know. And I uh, hope to see you soon.